This is section 5.4, and it's on the central limit theorem, and it's really on the distribution of the sample means, x bar. And it says if a sample of 30 or more is taken from a population of any type of distribution that has a mean of mu and a standard deviation sigma, the sample means will have a normal distribution, which means that we can use z-scores with a mean of mu and a standard deviation of sigma over the square root of n. Sigma over the square root of n is also known as the standard error. So with that, we can um, do problems, and let's go ahead and do this example right here. It says the mean height of American men ages 20 to 29 is 69.2 with a standard deviation of 2.9 inches. It says a random sample of 60 men in this age group are selected, so that has, means that we have a sample of 30 or more, and it says here, and that's important, this is actually called a large sample when you have a sample of 30 or more, and our sample here is 60. It says find the mean and standard deviation, find the mean and standard deviation, also known as the standard error of the sampling distribution. And then it asks you what is the probability that the mean height is greater than 70 inches. So really, we're asking what is the probability that x bar is greater than 70. Now, First of all, the mean, down here with the first couple of problems, it says find the mean. Well, the mean is given at 69.2. Find the standard deviation of this distribution. Well, that's the standard error. The standard error is sigma divided by the square root of n. So this, it's equal to the standard deviation of your sample, 2.9, divided by the square root of your sample size, which is 60. And uh, you would get that answered. Now, we can do all of this problem, including the probability part, which we would have to do on the Excel sheet. We can do all of it on the Excel sheet. And the place, again, where you want to go on the Excel sheet is the Z and T score sheet, the same sheet that we have been on. Okay? So this is working to come up here. And this is the Z and T score sheet. We went over this area and the z-score, inverse z-score, and now we are, here we are to this z-score, which deals with the sample mean. And you use this area when your sample size is greater than or equal to 30. So for this particular problem, we use this area again if we're dealing with left and right of a, of a particular area, like probability that x bar is greater than 70, this particular problem, we'll use this area. And if it's between two values, we use this area over here. So on this particular problem, we're looking for the probability that the sample mean that the x bar is greater than 70, so we put 70 in here. The mean, we were told, is 69.2, and the sigma, the standard deviation, was 2.9 and the sample size was 60. Once you get those in, it gives you the z-score, the standard error, which it asked about, is 0.374, and we want to know the probability that it's greater than 70, so that would be the area to the right, so the answer to this problem would be 0 0.016, and that would be the answer to that problem. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next example, and it says during a certain week, the mean price of gasoline in California uh, was 1.164 or a dollar 16 and 4 tenths per gallon and it says what is the probability that the mean price for the sample of 38 that's your sample size your n is 38 stations in California is between these values between 1.169 and 1.179 and it tells you the standard deviation here is 0 .049, 0 0.049. So we would read this as what's the probability that x bar, our sample mean, is between these two values right here. So let's go to the Excel sheet, and we'll do this problem. And since it's uh, dealing with the x bar, the sample mean, and the sample size is greater than 30, and it's between two values, we use this area right here. The lower x bar is 1.169, and the upper one is 1.179. The mean was 1.164, and the standard deviation was 0 0.049. 
and the sample size was 38. Once we get those in there, we get our lower z-score, upper z-score, the standard error, which is sigma divided by the square root of n, and the answer to our problem right here. 23.50 or 23.51 percent chance that the sample mean or the sample average of those 38 gasoline stations would be between 1.169 and 1.179. There's a 23.51 percent chance of that. And that will do it for this section.